Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have, well I have made in the frog, not today, a couple days ago. I have made in the frog and I've actually flown it two days, close to 40 packs possibly. And it was good. It was really good. So let's talk about some of the specs, how it felt in the air, because I also flew other quads next to it so I can get a great comparison. I can come back and give you in great detail how this overall performed from the motors, ESC's flight controller, uh, to the camera, VTX are just basically basic, so they just work very good. I like them. All right, so let's get started. Let's start from the outer part and go to the inner part. So let's start with the motors. The motors here are e uh, Emax Racer Star 2207S 2500 kV. So these performed very good. However, at the time of flying, I forgot what kV they were, to be honest. So they're, tw they're rated 2,500 kV. And at the same day, I also flew Emax 2306, 2400 kV, and the RC Lance, uh, it was a 2,500 kV, 2306 motor. Now, this one felt as powerful as the Emax 2306, which is very nice. They're very torquey, very torquey, all around the throttle range. However, there's something about these motors. I truly believe they're around 2300 kV-ish because the top end felt slower than the Emax. So it's, it's just, it just felt like a 2300 kV motor with a shitload of torque. So overall, it was a very good motor, but if you are looking for a 2500 kV motor official, this is not the motor for you. But if you wanted something that's hella torquey that performs like a premium motor, but you don't have the top, top speed of a 2400, 2500 kV motor or 2600 kV motor, uh, this will be the guy for you. And I believe if you get a lower kV, possibly, I'm not sure you can get even lower kV than what's really rated. So I'm gonna have to take these apart, stick them on the bench and get the correct kV. But overall, the motors performed very nice. I did have a couple crashes actually, but the bearings are still good. But, you know, they're cheap motors. Anything could happen. You need to take that in consideration. They're actually some of the cheapest motors on the market, but they perform spectacularly well. And, um, yeah, so motors, they're very good. They're not really 2,500 kV as I felt. They felt 2,300 kV motor with a shitload of torque. That's how it felt to me. So in that perspective, I loved it. I enjoyed it. And actually, I wouldn't mind it. I mean, this is, um, they, they feel they're more powerful than the Racer Star 2306, 2400 kV, but the Racer Star 2306 felt a little bit, uh, faster than these. Uh, not saying that it's slow, but I'm just saying in comparison. Now, let's go to the ESCs. The ESCs here, this was like a theory budget build. Like, I mean, what, what can we get, you know, the best components for as low as possible money as possible? Not as lowest, but the best stuff that's the cheapest at the current moment of time. So for ESCs, I use the Spedex IS30 amp ESCs. Now, I have previously tested these on my testing setup, and I've ran a lot of tests on them, and they, they just showed that they perform very well. And don't forget, these used to be premium-based ESCs, but they're called budget now because the price has dropped because they're D-Shot 600, and everyone's moving towards D-Shot 1200, which is BL Heli 32. But that doesn't really affect your performance at all, really. I mean, there's a lot of BL Heli 32 ESCs that are 10 times worse than these ESCs. So the BL Holy 32 bad don't mean shit if the ESC is crap. So that's something to take note of here. Now, these ESCs performed as tested. They performed spectacular, no noise, absolutely phenomenal. And uh, even if there was a little slight bit of noise, we wouldn't even see it anyways. But we'll, we'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. Now, the flight controller, we use the Dal RC F405 all-in-one flight controller. Now, I've done a lot of bench testing on this flight controller. Performed very well. Proper 9 volt regulator on board, keeps the overall system absolutely stunningly clean and um, overall performed as expected. In the air, I didn't have any weird issues, no jitters, no whatever. It just performed like expected. Like you bought a flight controller with a 9 volt regulator, you're expecting clean video feed and to perform like it should and it does, hands down. And um, it's perfect. It's really perfect. I really do love this flight controller. And by the way, I didn't have any low ESR capacitors on board. so. Awesome. So what else do we have here? We have a Fox 2 camera and a Yashin TX526. I love these two and they're cheap and um, they just work for me. For others, you know, you might want to use a different VTX to fly with other people. I've never tried flying with other people. So some people say that some of the channels from this VTX can bleed. So I just thought I'd let you know ahead of times so you don't have this issue. Um, but for me, uh, this per these are perfect, the Yashin TX526s. All right. So how did this thing fly stock beta flight? I left it stock beta flight. Obviously, we're using the frog light frame. Now, stock beta flight with the frog. This is like the fifth frog I have built. And the frog here, 
is almost a perfect tune always out of the box, which is something I really, 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 truly love and enjoy with this quadcopter, with this frame. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, just It needs a little bit of tuning. You're going to see in the video feed, you might say, oh, it doesn't even really need tuning. But you have those people who are really picky. They'll say, yo, no, it needs a little bit of tuning. But um, you could totally enjoy it. I didn't even bother tuning it, to be honest. I didn't even want to waste time. I just wanted to fly. I didn't want to waste any lipos and wait for them to charge and stuff. So I just kept flying and flying and flying and flying it until I ran out of props. So overall, this is a success of a budget premium build. Now, budget premium build is basically the best bang for your buck really that i mean everything in here is pretty spectacular and again if you're looking for 2500 kv motors these are not 2500 kv i am considering them as 2300 kv with a shitload of torque and the torque is awesome like absolutely phenomenal and um i'd recommend them if you're looking for something very powerful in 2300 kv motor uh they were pretty efficient they didn't heat up um obviously that's because of the tune i didn't have any weird oscillations and uh, i just just enjoyed it as I wanted to. So I just built it, set it up, and just went fly. Set up my modes, my rates, and that's it. And I'm flying in the air, um, which is a very good also starter build here. So and um, at any moment, in any time, you feel like it's too slow for you or you want to change its performance, just change the motors because everything else here is premium, uh, which is just super cool about these builds here. And um, I think that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Overall, this was an absolute success. I really did enjoy it. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I did compare it with premium motors and not so premium motors, but different KV so we can get an idea of where it stacks up. And um, overall, I'd highly recommend it. That's it. It's just that simple. Uh, there's nothing to it here. And uh, I might sell this one. If anyone's interested, please let me know. I'm looking for way, other ways to support the channel. Um, you could also go to Patreon. That'd be great. Also, like a dollar or two a month. That'd be super awesome. I do giveaways there also. And um, yeah, you get some awesome, cool extras. And um, I think that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I'm going to leave you with the FPV footage. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.